Okay, so welcome to Manito's guide on sending money to and from China using WISE. In this video, we'll break down the process into two sections. The first will be for sending money to the Chinese Yuan. So that means exchanging one currency for CNY. The other section will be the opposite, where we'll discuss how to send money from the Chinese Yuan. Also, at the end of the video, we've included a visual demonstration where we take you through the entire process of sending money from China within the WISE app. Firstly, there are a number of different methods available for sending money to CNY. Wise personal customers can send CNY to users of UnionPay, Alipay, or Weixin. Due to Chinese regulations, only people with a Chinese national ID card can receive CNY. I've also linked this page below in the description box. It's from the Wise website and contains everything you need to know for sending CNY to or from China. The maximum amount you can send varies. For UnionPay, it's up to 18,000, and Alipay or Weixin, allow up to 50,000 CNY. These two providers also have a receiving limit of five and 10 transfers per calendar month, respectively. The estimated time for your transfer largely depends on the transfer method you choose, and WISE will give you an estimate on how long the transfer will take. Your transfer may also be delayed or even canceled if your recipient doesn't complete the necessary verifications or if more information is requested by local authorities. Also, as a side note, when I say recipient, I'm referring to the person you're sending money to. If you're sending money from CNY, you have two options. You can send from your WISE account balance without specific requirements, or you can set up a bank transfer from your Chinese bank account. This does mean that you're sending money out of China, which does come with some regulatory requirements. Therefore, you may find it simpler to top up your WISE account with a currency like the British pound and then send that money directly from your CNY balance. Not everyone can send money from CNY. If you're not mainland Chinese, including anyone from Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau, you can send money. You just have to have a valid tax record issued by the China Tax Authority. There's also a verification process when you first send CNY. So it's handy to make sure that you have some of the following documents available. Your passport is very important as WISE will take a live photo of it. They will also ask for a tax record to verify your details and this is available from the China Tax app. To set it up, you'll need to get a code from the tax office, and for this, you'll also need your passport. The maximum amount you can send in one transfer is 100,000 CNY, although your overall limit depends on factors like your annual income, the amount of tax paid, and the number of years you've paid taxes. Why suggest giving them the longest period possible for your tax record? That way, they can allow you to send out the maximum amount of money. Also, once you exceed the limit, you may need to provide a new tax record. One thing to note, some Chinese banks may have their own limits. For example, the Bank of China has a transfer limit of 50,000 CNY. After verifying your information, you'll receive unique pay-in details, which only you can use to pay for your transfer. This involves making a local CNY bank transfer from your Chinese banking app to these specific details. If this seems confusing, don't worry. WISE has this very detailed guide on how to pay for your transfer. It takes you through step-by-step step on how to use your banking app and includes many of the Chinese banks. I've made sure to link it below in the description box. Payments are processed during these hours and the timing of your payment may impact how long it takes. Typically, you're looking at one working day for your money to reach WISE and the conversion can take up to two working days. But the actual speed of the transfer really depends on the currency and country you're sending money to. This is a list of banks that you can send CNY from. If your bank isn't listed, it doesn't mean that you can't send money, just try setting up a new recipient inside your Chinese banking app as they may still support the transfer. There are some common issues that may arise when sending money from China. For instance, transfers can bounce back if you provide incorrect recipient details or send money from someone else's account. This is really important. The money has to come from your own account. WISE cannot accept payments from other people. You may also be blocked if the transfer is outside of the payment system operating hours. Finally, double check if your bank has any minimum or maximum limits for sending CNY from China. There's a chance that this may cause errors when trying to send money using WISE. And remember, due to regulations, you can only send CNY to yourself. If you haven't already, you'll need to open a WISE account. I popped a link in the description box below to sign up. That is an affiliate link, so if you found this video useful and you want to support the channel, then please use that link. Go ahead and click the menu button in the top right hand corner and then register. Enter your email address and select whether you want to open a personal or business account. 
let's select personal. Also, the exact same process applies when using a desktop. Now choose the country you live in. For me, that's the United Kingdom. And finally enter your mobile number. Wise will then send you a verification code. Once that's entered, you'll just have to create a password and you're all set. Once logged in, click send and then select CNY from this currency drop down menu. Now enter the amount you wish to send and also the currency you wish to exchange it for. There is only one transfer type available and that's low cost. Also, make sure to pay close attention to this figure as it's the final amount you'll receive. As you can see, Wise has displayed a rough estimate of when the money will arrive and if you wish to delay the transfer, you can select this button and schedule it. Now if you press continue you can either click add in the top corner or you may immediately be shown this page. Just go ahead and select myself. If you're not mainland Chinese and have worked or are currently working in China then click continue. If you're happy with the details click confirm and now you'll need to have your documents at the ready. Firstly we have to share some information. So enter your full name, the type of ID you're going to share, the number and also the country you live in. Click to consent and then continue. Now choose your proof of work. You'll then need to select upload files and you can either take a live photo or upload one you've already saved. Now do the same with your proof of income and personal income tax record. Finally, click manual bank transfer and WISE will now share with you the necessary bank details so you can use your banking app to make the transfer. Once that's done, just select I made this transfer. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to comment below or reach out to WISE and their support team.